Well, it was another hot summer day out there. This is a live look of your camera in Carbondale tonight. You know, you can't see a whole lot of activity. There's not much going on aside from that heat. The temperatures are up into the low 90s, though, even still this evening. It's about 90 degrees in Carbondale. The dew points, though, are what's making it feel so uncomfortable. Dew points are up into the upper 70s. That's making the heat index feel more like 103. So if you are getting out even still this evening, just make sure you're drinking plenty of water and stay cool. The heat index across the entire viewing area running in the triple digits for many of us. There's a few of us that qu aren't quite there. Dixon Springs 94, but we've got Paducah at 100, Cape Girardeau at 107, along with Mount Vernon, Sykeston 106, 110 is what it feels like in Kennett right now. So hot no matter where you are tonight, that heat is going to be sticking around for one more day. We have a heat advisory in place across the entire viewing area until 8 p.m. on Tuesday. Parts of the area are under an excessive heat warning. That's for Dunklin, Pemiscot in our northwestern Tennessee counties tomorrow. So again, a really hot stretch will be coming to an end. That's the good news. Now, as we head into tomorrow morning, we could see a stray shower or storm that could help with some of that heat a little bit, at least when the rain's coming down. But we won't see that cool down really until that cold front moves through. A cold front is expected to push through as we head into Tuesday evening and into winter. Wednesday, and that's really what's going to bring us all of the relief. Until then, we are going to just stay really hot. This is a wide look of the radar. There is a storm system off to our north in parts of Iowa and Illinois. That is going to be pushing our direction, and we may see one of those stray showers as we head into the early morning hours or a chance for a storm or two. But I think uh, it's going to be fairly small. So here we go, playing out that future cast. There's the showers and thunderstorms that start to push in by the morning hours. Notice there's a few storm chances across southern Illinois, but largely southeastern Missouri and western Kentucky, northwest Tennessee staying pretty quiet through the morning. That activity again stays through uh, the northern half of the viewing area, so through southern Illinois. And then we see the better chance for showers and thunderstorms across the entire viewing area. By the time we get to the evening on Tuesday, that rainfall and thunderstorms will continue through the overnight hours Tuesday and then into your Wednesday as well. So tracking quite a bit of rain coming our way. This is a look at that rainfall projection one to three inches for much of the viewing area that could lead to some localized flooding issues. So just don't try to drive through any of that pooling water as we see some of those uh, heavier rainfall amounts coming down. Storm Track 3 app always great to have on your smartphone. You can get those alerts sent right to your phone. Flood alerts, storm alerts, really all you need to know in the palm of your hand. When it comes to that hour by hour, it's hot even as we kick off the day. Starting the day in the upper 70s by lunchtime Time, about 88 degrees for that high and then we're talking about the low 90s again as we head into the afternoon. Here's the good news. We've been talking about that rainfall on the cold front behind that cold front Thursday. 80 degrees for that high by Friday, 81 even in that extended forecast low to mid 80s. That's not too bad. You know, it is not very often that you get the low 80s during the summertime in our region. No. So definitely get outside and enjoy it, especially after the heat that might be oh, keeping yeah. people inside. It's so. going to be great. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, JC.